In this video, we're gonna be connecting the A10 Mini to VMix. Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So this is going to be just another continuation of all our videos on the A10 Mini. And some people asked about this, so we're going to bring it to you. <laughs> so um, vMix is another program for live streaming similar to OBS. I know a lot um, of churches that I've talked with, they actually prefer vMix over OBS. Honestly, I don't really think there's a difference, um, but hey, to each their own. So we're going to just walk through um, setting up the A10 Mini with vMix, and it's really, really simple. But again, y'all asked for it, so I'm gonna bring that to you. So let's go ahead and cut over to my other computer here. All right, so we're here in vMix, it's the most recent version, um, 230037. Um, now, again, for those who don't know, vMix is a paid application to actually use the um, have certain amount of connections and resolution and things like that. So link is in the description to vMix so you can get all the details on what type of plan that you need, package that you need. And the good thing is once you pay for it, it is for life. So it's only a one time payment that you have to do. And I am using the basic HD. Um, which I believe was $60, something like that. So let's come over here into add new. And we're going to add, well, first off, make sure your A10 mini is connected to your computer via USB. Um, we're gonna come over here to camera. And as you can see, there is the A10 mini. Make sure your audio device is also set. It should defaultly go to that. Now, video format, you really don't need to do. Just leave it at default and then your audio format. I have mine at 48,000 hertz just, just because that's what the audio that's wanted for DaVinci Resolve when I record it, but you can change it to whatever you want. Normally, it would be 44,000 or 48,000. Um, your frame rate, is coming from the ATEM, which I'm doing 60, which is fine. And okay, really straightforward, really nothing to it. You would still add the other interfaces like we normally would in OBS. You could do the same thing here, but you're limited to how many sources you can actually have. So let me go ahead and just add something real quick and show you how that whole thing will work. Now, before I actually do this, you could actually just do this all in the ATEM mini. So instead of me adding the scenes and all this other stuff, I could all always add my graphics here and then you don't have to worry about the scenes, but that is your choice. I will actually do it in both. All right, so as you can see, I've loaded everything that I could into vMix because I am limited to four sources, but I mean, that could still work. Um, what I have mainly is our welcome screen. We have our be right back and then we have our online giving, and then we have our regular feed. So very easy to do that you could actually switch everything in here. But what I would recommend, if you have the A10 Mini, is instead of doing it this way, what you could do is maybe keep the welcome screen if you really want to, but use everything inside of the A10 to switch instead. So if we came in here, and now I have all my sources in here. We can go here to our media player and we can set it to whatever that we want. So I'll say, I'm gonna use the media player and then I'm just gonna cut over it here onto my, the control here. And see, now you can do everything from, let me turn this back on. So now we can do everything from the ATEM and just use vMix to live stream to handle the bit rate, the resolution, all that other fun stuff and the connections. And vMix will let you actually stream to multiple locations at the same time. Um, so that makes it easier so you don't have to limit this. Now again, um, this is for the vMix folks. So again, if you were using the ATEM Mini, again, I don't know what plan that you have with the 
with vMix, so I don't know how many inputs that you're limited to. I'm limited to four, but with the media pool, you have way more input than you, um, than you have with the modules that's available in vMix. So you have up to 20 slots here. You could put all of your still images here. And if you have another computer, have it all mapped over here. And I make, I think that would make that work very well for you. So like I said, if we switch back over here, we have our welcome, then we can always change that to, okay, it's a scene where we got some copyrighted music, switch over to the Be Right Back. Then we also have our online giving. And as you can see, I'm using the, the picture in picture just for you to see me, but this could easily be going to whatever, whoever's on the pulpit. You can pull scripture up, you still overlay um, inputs over top of each other as well. Um, and then when you're all finished, you can do a thank you for watching. So that's mainly it. I hoped that helps. And that was for the people who asked for that. So very straightforward. VMix is very powerful. I really like them. I just happened to use um, a different program, but obviously I paid for it. So <laughs> I really like it for different scenarios. But if you happen to have the base version of VMix, as well as the A10 Mini, I think instead of doing different scenes like this, I would personally use um, the, the media player inside of the A10 Mini and just reserve those extra sources for like, um, if you have another camera like an NDI, something like that to come into this or, um, cause I'm assuming if you're using the A10 Mini, you don't have a capture card in this computer. So I just think it gives you multiple options um, that you can do it inside of vMix or through the A10 Mini, which is what I personally would do. Anyway. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And if there's any other things that you'd like me to do a video on a tutorial or even test out with the A10 Mini, please leave it in the comments. I reply and read every single comment <laughs> that's sent by y'all. Appreciate it. And we will see y'all on the next video later.